Katie Kazoo Switcheroo. No messing with my lesson. By Nancy Kulik. Illustrated by John and Wendy. Chapter 6. What page should we turn to? Mrs. Durkin, Katie heard someone ask. Slowly, she opened her eyes. She looked around. The room was very familiar. There was a hamster by the window. Rows of desks and a bulletin board that said math rules on the back wall. Katie knew this classroom very well. This was her classroom, class 3A. Okay, so now she knew where she was, but she didn't know who she was. Mrs. Dirkman, Mandy said again, you didn't tell us what page to turn to. All eyes seemed to be on Katie. Katie looked down at the floor. There were sensible leather shoes on her feet. She was wearing a black skirt that just covered her knees and a long sleeved white blouse. Katie would never wear boring clothes like that, but Mrs. Dirkman would. Oh no, Katie had turned into her teacher. Katie gulped. She didn't know anything about being a teacher. She didn't even know what book the kids had on their desk. She been in the hall when Mrs. Dirkman had started the lesson, but there was one person who knew how to be Mrs. Dirkman, and he did it perfectly. Katie thought back to yesterday when George had imitated Mrs. Dirkman. She tried to do what he had done. She wrinkled her brow and scrunched up her mouth. She looked down through Mrs. Dirkman's half glasses. Mrs. Dirkman, do you have a toothache? Marion Chan asked her. Katie sighed. Obviously, she didn't look as much like Mrs. Dirkman as she thought. She was never going to be able to teach her friends anything. But she had to do something with the class. Otherwise, they were sure to figure out that she wasn't really their teacher. Katie thought for a moment. Then she came up with a plan. Class, I've changed my mind. Katie said finally, we're going to start the day with free reading. Everyone take out your books. The kids all looked at one another. They never started the day with free reading. What? are you waiting for? Katie scolded them, trying to sound like Mrs. Dirkman. Take out your books. The kids did as they were told. As they began to read, Katie sat down at Mrs. Dirkman's desk. The blue notebook Mrs. Dirkman always carried was sitting right there. Maybe there was some clue in there about what Mrs. Dirkman had wanted to teach today. Katie opened the notebook. On the first page was a list of the kids in 3A. Next, 
to each of the names was a row of letters. She looked at the first one. Kevin and Kamaleri, B, B plus, A, C. Katie slammed the book shut. The blue book was Mrs. Dirkman's grade book. Katie didn't want to look at her friend's test grades. Well, maybe she wanted to, but she knew she shouldn't. Grades were private. Katie sat back in Mrs. Dirkman's big wooden chair and sighed. Her only hope was that the magic wind would blow again and turn her back into herself before she actually had to teach anything. The trouble with the plan, that plan, was that the magic wind only came when Katie was alone. Teachers were never alone in school. There were always kids around them. Teachers never even got to go to the bathroom. At least Katie had never seen one get up to go.